it's a challenging question because on one side you have your, your, your creative accomplishments, on the other side you have the sort of high success of your career. Obviously the, uh, the, the pinnacle of the career is November 9, 1985, the last game against Anatoly uh, Korbrook, that winning this game I, I got my title, first title. After uh, how long? Uh, uh, yeah, no, it was a second match already, but that's why, but if I look at the greatest achievement in, in my life, actually it's not winning, but surviving the first match while trailing five to, five to nothing against Anatoly Karpov. He needed one win to, to sort of complete this uh, wipeout, and for 12 months he couldn't achieve it, so the match was stopped when I was trailing only 5-3, and they postponed it and we started a new one that I, I won. So I would consider the greatest accomplishment uh, where I was close to perfection, it's survival against against all powerful opponents in in the situations where my odds were from the one to a million. Well, I, I agree with Gary. This is a very hard question to answer. Ours is a compl complex, integrated team activity, and and so uh, a whole range of factors that go into it. As a player, I think uh, we played uh, some of our best in 1976, um, but then uh, we lost uh, the last match, we lost the gold medal game. Um, ten years later, in 1986, we won the World Cup and that was uh, marvellous. In the teams that I coached, um, we played in, in uh, seven major tournaments every two years and we played, uh, we won six of them and, and, and once we slipped up. Um, Olympic Games and World Cups. I think in some ways winning at the Olympic Games was marvellous, but they weren't the best games, you didn't play the best, there was a struggle. So the two games I remember most were both played in Holland, one in Utrecht and one in The Hague, final of the World Cup against the Netherlands in a stadium full of orange. And uh, both times we, we trailed after a couple of minutes, we were down and losing and uh, with the women's team and then with the men's team, uh, we were successful. And the last one, only four years ago in, in The Hague in 2014, we won the final of the World Cup 6-1. That was probably our best ever performance. Now, perfection is a difficult thing. I don't think it's, um, personally, I think everyone will agree with me, it's not possible in a, a line of sports. You, you strive to be perfect, but we all know um, we, we're never going to be perfect. Um, you always have a certain area that you can improve on. Um, um, personally, for me, uh, it was probably in 2015, uh, we could just go back to that perfection thing. You, you do sometimes get into something that as sports people call, call the home, where it's probably the closest thing to perfect, and it's happened very seldom in my career, probably, if I can count, maybe five times that I really got into that zone where you, you don't hear the noise of the crowd, you just, everything happens in slow motion. So those are probably, probably the moments where um, you get the closest to perfect. And to me, it was in 2015, um, at the Wanderers, when I broke the record for the fastest 100. Um, that was, looking back now, it's still, it's still just a bit of a blur. So um, probably the moment where it was closest to perfect for me. For me, it had to be London 2012. And uh, just because, you know, having a home crowd, having 75,000 people behind you, having a nation behind you, um, the two races that they really put you in so far. Um, definitely have to be 10k because I've never won a medal before, so I have to do that one. <laughs>